Hello everyone. I will be giving a quick insight about the call center analysis. This call center analysis, the Power BI interactive dashboard, presents you with the metrics and the required KPIs that allows the managers to track and monitor each agent performance. The metrics such as call queues, average handling time, transfers and outlier were analyzed to bring out the best performer for each metric. The data for analyzation is for the Williamburg call center in the year 2017 for a period of three months. So let's get started with the first metric, which is call queues. Call queues are the calls handled under the supervision of three team leaders. The measures analyzed for call queues are callback and FCR. So what is FCR? FCR is first call resolution. The agents who are able to solve the issue in the first call itself is referred as FCR call back. If the customers call back within two days for any reason are considered as call back. The scroller displays which team is leading the race by FCR. The table, this table shows the agent's activity for three months. So these are the consolidated values for the measures generated. So if I want to view for an individual month, Select the month from the drop down and the other visuals interact and displays the values for the selected month. Similarly, if I select one of the team leader, other visuals are displaying the values in respect to the selected team leader. So let's move on to the next metric, which is average handling time. Average handling time is the amount of time it takes to help a customer in a call center industry. This is one of the most analyzed metric in the call center. This bar chart has the names of the team leader and their respective team's average handling time. This cluster chart displays the rank of the agents based on their average handling time. So for the month of June, the agents are ranked accordingly. For the month of July, agents are ranked accordingly. Eventually, after a period of three months, these are the ranking of agents based on their average handling time. So if I want to know the value of average handling time for third rank or fourth rank, select the rank accordingly and the value will be displayed in this chart. Let's move on to the next metric, which is transfer. Transferred calls happen when the first agent or the first rep is unable to solve the issue and transfers the call to the next agent is considered as transferred calls. You can see a donut over here. This donut has three pieces and the legends for these pieces are the three team leaders with their respective percentage rate of transfer. So if one of the agent, one of the team leader is selected, other visuals are displaying the values in respect to the selected team leader. For example, this table has the names of the agents and their corresponding values with respect to the selected team leader. Moving on to the next metric and the last, which is the last metric. Outlier. The agents who routinely surpass the standard protocol set by the organization. The standard protocol of an average handling time should not be over 800 seconds and the percentage of transfer and callback should not be over 7 and 20 percent respectively. So the agents who surpass these values are considered as outlier. If I select one of the agent, so this agent is not an outlier for AHT or the average handling time, but is an outlier for transfer and callback. Similarly, 
if I select one of the agent from this chart, he is an outlier for average handling time, transfer and callback for all the measure. I hope this quick insight is clear and informative. Thank you.